So in the cockpit of a propeller aircraft, there can be a number of instruments relating to the propeller and the engine. So one of them will be the propeller RPM gauge, but there may also be for a turboprop a engine RPM gauge where you may have the uh, gas turbine and the power turbine RPM displayed, one or other or, or perhaps even both. For a turboprop you will have a torque indicator and for a piston engine you would have a manifold uh, pressure gauge and RPM. So uh, let's show the significance of these of these gauges. So for a turboprop, uh, power is torqued by um, omega, which is uh, rotational speed in radians per second. So the torque uh, developed by the engine multiplied by the rotational speed in radians per second. And that can be converted to RPM by omega is equal to n divided by 60 multiplied by 2 pi. So the power our engine is uh, producing is the torque times the RPM multiplied by um, uh, a constant. Now 2 pi is 6 point uh, three roughly. So um, you know that divided by sixty is approximately one tenth. Okay. So we can say the power divided by the engine is approximately the torque times the RPM divided by ten. So in this case, you know we're developing two thousand four hundred fifty six newton meters of torque with an RPM of uh, one thousand two hundred and twelve. So then the power developed by the engine is approximately uh, 2456 by 1212 uh, multiplied by 1 tenth, which gives us uh, approximately 300 uh, kilowatts. And if we want to look at the efficiency of the engine, well, the efficiency, sorry, of the propeller, I should say, the efficiency of the propeller is what's the power we get out compared to the power we put in. This is the power we put in, so this equation here. Uh, what we get out is the thrust times uh, the velocity. Okay, that's just an aside. But you can see here why the torque meter and why the RPM gauge uh, are, are important as power indications. Now, for a piston engine, the power produced by a piston engine uh, for a four-stroke piston engine is this equation here. So it's the mean effective pressure by the length of the stroke, this is stroke by the cross-sectional area of the cylinder, by the number of RPMs, by the number of cylinders. And that's all divided by uh, 2 times 60. So um, if we just look at this uh, equation a little bit, Closely, and let's relate it to the uh, auto cycle. So, the auto cycle for a piston engine uh, shows uh, well how a piston engine works, really, and uh, the power produced by the engine is the area is the area in here, and. You know, on this diagram, it's pressure times uh, volume. Okay? But the volume of the cylinder will be the length of the cylinder by the cross-sectional area. So length of the cylinder by the cross-sectional area. And for any particular engine, you know, the number of cylinders is going to be a constant. So it's either a four-cylinder engine or a six-cylinder engine. Uh, that's not going to vary. It's going to be constant for that particular engine. Uh, 2 times 60 is a constant. So I'm going to uh, replace these here with a constant. So this is my volume, and this is my uh, number of cylinders divided by this figure here. So these values here, in red and green, they're just all coupled up here to this constant. So the power of the engine is really the mean effective pressure by the RPM by some constant. 
But what we have uh, displayed in the cockpit is the manifold air pressure. So it's not the mean effective pressure, it's the manifold air pressure, which is this pressure here, this is the intake pressure. Now, if I wanted to get the area here, so this is the power produced by the engine. So this area here in blue, that is the, if I can get that area, work that out, that would be the power to develop by the engine. So the volume from here to here is, is this guy. So if I could find some mean value, an average value, if you like, that when I multiply that value by this volume, this volume here, I would get the same area as as in light blue here. That value is the mean effective pressure. Okay, so what is the average value that multiplied by the volume of the uh, cylinders will give me uh, the area under this curve. So that's what mean effective pressure is. And it relates to the manifold air pressure. Um, so what we get in indicated in the in the cockpit is only an indication of the actual power produced. So we have the RPM, that's no problem. Pressure is the manifold pressure. It's not the mean effective pressure, but it's related to it. Okay. So as as we increase uh, as we increase power, this manifold pressure uh, will increase, which means the mean effective pressure is is increasing as well. But um, you, you can't calculate exactly what the power produced from the engine is just by these two uh, indicators. So it's only an indication of the power produced by the.